Hey girls, oh my god, I miss you so much. Thank you for being here. I love you, I love you, I love you. I have been off of YouTube for two months now. Um, and yes, I am super sorry, but also I needed that time for myself. A lot of things have changed within my life, so I definitely wanted to just sit down with you guys, chat, give you guys a little update while I eat my Chipotle. Some questions back in March when I actually was being consistent on YouTube. So I decided I wanted to answer those for you. Um, so let me just pull them up on my phone. Before we even get started, I want to know what are you guys getting your bowl? I get white rice, black beans, steak, corn, cheese, lettuce, and guac. And I always get a side of chips because the chips are the best part. Like once you're getting almost done eating the bowl, you literally can just scoop up whatever you have left in the bowl with the chips. And I always get, sometimes I get a Sprite, but I've been trying not to drink soda. So I just got, I have my water from home. Okay, so I have the questions here. Um, huh. So the first question I have is biggest goal for myself this year. Um, I think the biggest goal was definitely for me to step out of my comfort zone and just really go for things. And that actually worked out in my favor because I actually do have an internship that I'm starting next week. So I'm super excited for that. Um, with the internship, I'm going to be working within the lifestyle department. So, you know, my favorite things, beauty, fashion, all that stuff. It worked in my favor, so I'm super excited for that. It's three days a week. I'm definitely going to document it for you guys because that was just a milestone for me in itself. It was a company that I had been following since my freshman year of, uh, I was going to say high school, freshman year of college. And they were like, yeah, like, you know, we don't really hire freshmen, but like you could always apply back next time. So then sophomore year came around, I had reached out to a recruiter via LinkedIn that I did meet, that she came to my school, uh, to like my university's career fair. And then I was able to get connected with her. And then she was like, oh, like, you know, she didn't email me back for a couple of months and I was scared. But then I shot my shot. And when I was literally in my marketing class, like my night class, I texted her on LinkedIn. Like I messaged her and I was like, hey, are you guys still looking to interview? Um, candidates for your internship for the summer and she was like send me your resume send me my resume i ended up having an interview the week after had my interview then i waited and they told me oh we're gonna um email you back by this date they didn't email me back so i was so disappointed because i was like damn i didn't get it you know when you like think the worst of things but it's like you just gotta wait and be patient because what is meant for you is gonna come for you and that's exactly what happens. Now I have the internship and I'm super excited. I'm gonna be working for a public relations firm in the city. So I'm gonna be my city girl grind, taking the train to the city, my little commute. So I'm super excited for that. That was definitely my biggest goal to just get an internship, but also just push myself and really make those connections. So I'm so happy that I did that. Next question is favorite outfit you own? Definitely anything garage. I just love garage so much. My outfit right now, I'm just wearing a tank top and vintage straight jeans from garage i just when you work at a clothing store you're able to see like what fits you and what doesn't fit you and what like flatters your body and that was what happened with me i was able to figure out like what i like to wear what complements my body type all that stuff next question is how do you balance friendships and your relationship well, the funny thing is my best friends actually were kind of the people that introduced me to my current boyfriend so we all do get along well because we all grew up together um and i feel like that just balances it out because yeah we hang out but also like we are able to hang out with like our partners on our own because like i remember for my birthday we went out to dinner and then we went out after that and like my best friends their partners were there and we all had a good time together so definitely um knowing that there's a mutual friendship between all of us is amazing and that's what works for us the next question i got was favorite brand you worked with mm, i'm trying to think that's a tough one. Ooh, uh, the wind oh my god Girl, the wind is so bad right now like i don't well it's because i'm by the water so vibes i guess i'm trying to think of all the brands i worked with 
I would say Madam Glam because that was actually the first brand I did work with and it was just so rewarding because at that time in my life I was still in high school like really starting to be consistent with YouTube and being able to you know just have a brand reach out to me and say like oh we really want to work with you like that made my whole life so Madam Glam if you guys don't know what that is it's basically a um, gel nail polish um, brand and they reached out to me and I was able to like paint my nails for like a reset Sunday for you guys it was so cute my next question was my favorite part of St. John's. I would definitely say all the people that I met because you meet so many different people in college. And it has allowed me to push myself and be more confident because you know you have those positive people around you. So definitely the people that I met is my favorite part of St. John's. What's your fave chill night kind of vibe? Activities, food, etc. Definitely chilling, um, eating my favorite comfort food, whether it be having a slice of pizza, watching TV for the night, just, you know, being in my room, being in my own presence, I guess. That, that's what I would definitely say. Somebody said, how are you so consistent? I'm laughing at myself because I haven't been consistent on YouTube, but I just say like, I'm always inspired by other creators around me so that's always what inspires me to be consistent because I'm like damn she's on her grind like I need to get on my grind and that's definitely I feel like what inspires me to be consistent as well as just like if you want to see results you have to be consistent that doesn't it like it that goes for everything that goes for school that goes for um, relationships like if you guys want to see growth you guys have to be consistent in what you are doing and how you are growing together What are the best apps slash tools to edit? Mm, I use CapCut. I also use iMovie. I use an app called Fonto. Um, I also use Canva. Those are like my favorite apps that I use to edit. They always get the job done for me. It's always just like, you could use any generic app. It's just how are you gonna be creative and make your videos or like your content or whatever you're editing stand out from others. Someone said, where do you see yourself after graduating? I hopefully see myself working like my big girl, like corporate girly job. I think there's a train coming. I think it's coming, but it's like slow, so it's okay. Um, yeah, it's gonna be loud, watch. not that bad though I would say definitely working like my corporate girly job hopefully um, moved out of my house um, but my parents are very supportive that it's like until like I get my dream job and you know have my dream life they will let me be home as long as I'm making some type of progress with my life so definitely working like either beauty marketing fashion marketing any type of lifestyle being a marketing manager or like social media marketing manager um, or even working with like their influencer department that would be amazing um, I would also say like of course living with my boyfriend um, depending on like where our paths take us because we're very like adamant to each other about like you know whatever happens as long as you're living your dream life and you have your dream career that we both are working for then anything could work out you know oh my god someone said how are you able to balance with everything work school creating content social life etc um i've always been the type of person that i feel like if i'm not busy i'm not doing anything with my life So definitely just, if I feel like I'm being too stagnant and too lazy, then I'm going to be like, I need to be doing something. So I definitely think like taking my mental health into an account is something that I need to do a little bit more because I do get overwhelmed sometimes, but everybody gets overwhelmed. Like you got to make it one way or another. So just keep pushing. 
bug. So I'm going to motivate you to continue with your channel. Definitely when I watch my old videos and hear my squeaky voice like recording on my phone. That always is like, it's a tearjerker every single time. Because I'm thinking, I'm like, I always wanted to do this. And I'm going to keep pushing for it. said if you didn't go to St. John's, where would you have went? I actually would have went to FIT. But... I didn't see myself like in fashion school. I kind of wanted to just do marketing um, on its own. And I've always been the type to be so involved in high school. And I felt like if I was just in fashion school, I wouldn't have been exposed to the things that got exposed at St. John's. So yeah. And I'm happy that I ended up in St. John's. I wouldn't regret it for the world of me. What's your favorite sneaker at the moment? My Asics. Those are like the only things I wear. They're so beat up, first of all. Like, I need my friends to hook me up with another pair. They're also comfortable because I have flat feet. Someone said, how did you and your boyfriend meet? <laughs> Funny story. So, um, obviously in my generation, a lot of you guys who watch me are like the same age as me. Or younger. Or even older. But me and my boyfriend met through like a mutual friend and like i always saw my boyfriend before like he even knew i existed i don't know i sound like a stalker um we were always friends when like he had girlfriends and stuff but it was never like oh i'm gonna um steal him from her or whatever like whenever he needed advice i was always there for him whenever i needed advice vice versa but i definitely would say like we um, ended up rekindling like within quarantine 2020, February of 2020. And like we haven't stopped speaking since. So I don't know. That's how we met. We kind of just would always talk to each other. And, but we never hung out in person until like August of 2020. That's when like, because like there's an ice skating rink by my house. I saw him at that ice skating rink, but he didn't know who I was. So I wasn't going to go up to him and be like, hi, like, do you know who I am? Because that's kind of weird. Um, what's my favorite part of my skincare routine? Definitely toner. I don't know. It's just something about it makes me feel so clean. Like, I love toner. I love a good toner. What would you recommend for a starting YouTuber? Definitely just be yourself and find your niche. Everybody has their niche. They just don't know what it is. So once you find that niche, roll with it. And just be comfortable in front of the camera. Because you could always show that, like, you know connection with your viewers somebody said what's the hardest thing about running a youtube channel definitely all the editing and that goes into it but i don't think i would ever hire somebody to edit my videos unless like i don't know what the circumstance may be but i like to edit my videos i think i do a great job at it especially because I get to leave like pieces of my personality in the video. I would feel like the person that edits for me, they would have to know my personality so well and study my videos that they would be able to do it themselves. But yeah. What inspired me to start one? Um, Bethany Moda back in like, I don't even know, was it 20, I don't even know, 20, 2014? Oh my God. Watch her religiously. All the baddies know who Bethany Moda is. Max Barbie 07. Come on now. You know who she is. These birds are killing me. Um, what's my next question? Tip on confidence for the girlies. Um, definitely just don't give up. Like, don't give up. What other people think. Like, just know you're a baddie. Like, at the end of the day, it's your life. And you're going to live it the way you want regardless. There's going to be people that talk down on you. And talk down on your life, talk down on your relationship, talk down on your friendships. But that should never stop you from being you, mama. Like, just don't let anybody's opinion get to you. As long as you're doing what you're doing and you're having somewhat of a good image. I'm not telling you to go, like, do something that's going to make you look horrible. But I would definitely say to just don't care what people say so much. Like, just go with your gut. I mean, I'm period. Somebody said, what is one thing you have learned so far since becoming a content creator? Everybody has their own pace, babes. Like, 
I used to always compare myself to so many other people like oh my gosh she has so many followers like but one thing I learned with like us is that we have an actual relationship when I make a video and I post it you guys feel something from it and that makes me feel like I won like I won at life if yeah I post something it goes viral yeah but are those people still gonna stay and watch what I'm doing no so the fact that you know you could say like people text me all the time Instagram yeah I just watched your video like I love what you said about this like you are so right about this come on will you just bust every time like mm -mm -mm. what has been the best slash not so good parts about your experience at St. John so far um I definitely would say like worst experiences is like when you have to like create your schedule and stuff that's so difficult um because classes get filled up so quick um little fallouts from like friendships friendships that I thought were friendships here and there those have been the not so good parts but you keep pushing like that's life regardless or not like everybody you need, meet in college is not going to be your best friend let me tell you that so that's advice for my incoming freshmen at college not everybody's gonna be your best friend babe so don't be buddy buddy with everybody telling everybody your business because that backfires on you sometimes um best parts the people that i met once again um the opportunities that i've had i've been able to go to mtv fresh out i've oh my god guys did you see that i just got so fucking scared <laughs> my food just spilled everywhere that's great anyways what was i saying oh um best parts i've been able to go to vayner media visits like site visits i've been able to um volunteer fashion week i was able to get my first internship like there's so many things that i have done that i'm so grateful for and it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the people that I met. I think this is the last question, if I'm not mistaken. Um, what's gonna be your I made it moment so far? I definitely would say like, um, when I see myself like, I don't know, like I think about this all the time, maybe like hitting like a collab with a really big brand or going on like a brand trip that's like huge with a big brand or when Monet McMichael notices me, like notices, notices me, that's gonna be my, my my I made it moment because I love her down bad, like so bad. I wish you guys knew, like me and her are like this and she don't even know it. But yeah, girlies, those were all the questions. I'm definitely gonna sit down and try and post once a week now. Definitely, now that I, you know, school is over i'm focusing on my internship and creating content going to events i'm going to the her campus um conference at the end of this month so i'll definitely vlog that for you guys um my internship is on tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays so i'll probably do like a weekly vlog getting ready for it follow all my other social medias because i'm very active on tiktok um as well as instagram my posts here and there i'm going to try and get more active i'm posting on instagram um and yeah, that's basically all I could say for you guys. I love you. Thank you for always supporting me. Thank you for allowing me to take breaks like this and still, you know, watch my videos, enjoy what I post. And like, people still DM me all the time asking for advice on certain things. So I really appreciate that, that people still, ooh, that people still come to me. Um, and yeah. Life has been lifing, but life has been lifing in the most beautiful way. That's all I could tell you guys. That's my little life update. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, happiness, and subscribe. Love you, girl.